Let's analyze the problem here. Feel free to press pause so you'll get a closer look. In this situation, Lito gave the ball some horizontal velocity at a certain height. The ball was in the air for an unknown time and was displaced to some length along the x-axis. Start solving this problem by drawing the motion of the ball to help you visualize what happened. After identifying the variables, let's do the vertical motion first since we're looking for hang time. Take note that the ball had no initial vertical velocity, only horizontal, and that v is not given, so we'll use equation 2. Delta y is negative because of this equation. Finally, g is also negative with respect to the y-axis. v naught t cancels out because v naught is 0, which leaves us with this equation. With the little algebra, we derive the formula for t. Substitute the values, simplify, and arrive at 0.64 seconds, which is the hang time of the ball. Although the vertical and horizontal motions of a projectile is independent of each other, the time variable is shared by them. We can use our computed t and plug it in the variables for horizontal motion, like so. Notice that the velocity is constant because a is 0. For this part, we'll simply treat 42 meters per second as the average velocity and derive delta x from this equation. Plug the values in, simplify, and we end up finding the ball traveled 26.9 meters horizontally. 